know if you can feel it in the air, but this Valentine's Day, a lot of people are looking for love in Boston. And whether you are on dating apps or getting set up, WBZ's Laura Hayfley spoke with experts about the keys to meeting that special someone. It's the most heartfelt holiday of the year. Oh, sure, whatever. If I can get a free meal and chocolates out of it. Each year, Americans spend millions on Valentine's Day on all kinds of gifts for themselves. My gift was a dentist for a crown. Or for significant others. But for those feeling lost in love, WBZ sat down with an expert who has some help for the holiday. I meet with my clients and help them find true love. Jill Vandor is an executive matchmaker with lunch dates in Boston, admitting dating in cities is tough for singles. You know, they walk fast, they talk fast, they're on their phones. According to the Pew Research Center, in 2023, 32% of men and 28% of women identified as single. Vandor has some suggestions if you do too. Don't talk about exes. Don't talk about politics. The more open minded somebody is, the quicker they're going to find that special somebody. And do something for yourself to make yourself feel loved too, because you have to love yourself in order for somebody else to love you. But if you are in a relationship or just feel like buying a gift for someone close, there's an obvious choice. For five generations, the Holbrow family has been in the business of love. So, of course, I had to buy flowers from the experts themselves. Obviously, the most popular Valentine's Day flower, red roses. Holbrow's Flowers tells me they sell up to 2,000 of these in two days. Michaela? These ones are coming home to you. While I ordered my flowers with plenty of time, owner Patricia Holbrow says not everyone is as punctual. Guys don't order ahead of time. And they're getting it for girlfriends, wives, or we can't talk about the others. And I have to be quiet about it. That's part of the business. No way. Yep. For most, it's a lovely holiday. As for the Holbrows, they're ready for it all to be over. In Quincy, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News. Meanwhile, all those drivers were running into places today with the flowers. It was it was pretty cold today. I gotta say, the guys get a bad rap. You I, know, saying true. in there that the guys wait to the last minute. I mean, I got mine late last <laughs> night. That is, My husband I was actually ahead of the game. Gave them to me early. And oh, Eric, I think you did too, right? We went early because I knew yesterday was gonna be a busy day. Right. Didn't know what the schedule would allow for. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure I get it in there.